In January 1913, Edgar Rice Burroughs, building upon the success of the worlds he had created for his Tarzan and John Carter of Mars series, set out to create yet another world of adventure, Pellucidar, a land lying upon the inner surface of the Earth, which he envisioned as a hollow sphere. The concept of the Earth as a hollow sphere was well established. As far back as 1692, Edmund Haley had speculated about a land within the Earth, and in the 19th century, numerous proponents, including John Cleve Sims, had postulated a hollow Earth with openings at each pole. He and others proposed expeditions in search of these openings, and the ideas still percolated in the early 20th century. In Burroughs' Pellucidar, there is no night and no time. There is a tiny central sun, and it is permanently high noon. The horizon curves upward into the haze of the distance. It is a world populated by savage prehistoric beasts, strange civilizations, and beautiful compelling women who capture the hearts and imagination of readers and protagonists alike. It is a land where Stone Age men and women must fight to survive, and where whole civilizations have been made slaves of the Mehars, a race of intelligent but sinister reptiles who look upon humans as nothing more than beasts of burden or as tasty snacks in one of their ghoulish ceremonies. In At the Earth's Core and its sequel Pellucidar, hero David Ennis finds his way to the inner world via a gigantic mechanical iron mole. Stranded there, Ennis fights to win the love of the woman of a lifetime, Diane the Beautiful, and to free humanity from the tyranny of the Mayhars. In Tanar of Pellucidar, an indigenous cave warrior journeys across the land and faces the Corsars, seagoing brigands. David Ennis is imprisoned by the Corsars, which leads to a rescue mission by Jason Gridley and Tarzan in Tarzan at the Earth's Core. In all, Burroughs published seven Pellucidar tales, timeless classics of imaginative, romantic adventure that have been published and republished countless times for more than a century. In 1976, Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated published an authorized sequel, Mayhars of Pellucidar by John Eric Holmes, and in the same year, At the Earth's Core was filmed by Amicus Productions. The Pellucidar tales were adapted into High Spot comics in the 1940s, and later for DC's Weird World comics in the 1970s. Today, Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated continues to develop and expand the universe of Pellucidar products and stories. In 2018, the company published Untamed Pellucidar, a new Pellucidar novel by Lee Strong. The company also offers a Pellucidar webcomic series, as well as a wide variety of other Pellucidar products. Now in its second century, the savage, heroic world of Pellucidar continues to offer unparalleled imaginative transport to a growing legion of fans worldwide.